third God. God. So individually the Father is not God. He's a third of God. The Son is not God. He's a third of God. Holy Spirit is not God. He's a third of God. So if they want to make the whole thing one God, it ends up with disbelief in partialism. That God is one third. The Father, is, which is God, is one third. So when the Christians say we believe in one God, ask them, one God who? The Father or the Trinity? That is known as the Trinity, right? So Trinity is one God. If the Trinity is one God, is the Father same as the Trinity? No, he's part of the Trinity. So now you have the Father who is called God by Jesus and in the Old Testament he is now part of God because Trinity is one God so Father is part of this one God, not whole of the Trinity. So is it like a part-time God? <laughs> uh, no, but this is the problem that we now identify as partialism. If the Father is actually one God, then Father must be a Trinity because this is how God is defined. God is one, which is a trinity. Any being which is going to be called God must be a trinity. Was the Son a trinity? No, so he can't be God. Was the Father a trinity? No, so he can't be God. Any way you devise this visually, you end up either three gods or part gods. There is no win-win, it's always lose-lose with the Christian theology. What if they say that whole triangle is one God? That's what I'm saying. If the whole triangle is one God, individually the Father is one third God. Yes. It, 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 it doesn't work. Like, I'll be honest It's yeah. confusing. No, no, let me... Hang on. If that Trinity is one God, is the Father of the Holy of the Trinity? I've got A for Where's the colour? I don't even understand. Is the Son whole of the Trinity? No. It's a part of it. It's a part. So how can the Son be God when that whole thing is God? Can we have a Venn diagram, please? I love a Venn diagram. Something like this. <laughs> yeah? that's, a, that's a pair of tips. Uh, yeah? So you can see the perversion in the mind of people. And their breasts. Can you imagine? Clear your minds, boys. Right. That's why I said pornography is bad for you. Yeah. So now we realise either the Christians have to admit they believe in three gods <laughs> too much allergies right can you let him speak right can you let him speak brother okay can i ask a question either yes of course oh, can i ask a question mm -hmm. now are you doing this to mock christianity or genuinely saying this doesn't make sense of course not I mean, I, look, I carry a board as well, if you don't realise, to visually represent these problems. They've all got white boards. And this is, yes, thank you. He had the board yeah. before us. You wouldn't think they're the 21st century. Actually, it's true, you did actually. I you got did. inspired by it. Right. So the reason why we want to demonstrate is to so that people can see visually the belief that they carry. If indeed they believe in one God, then how does this problem arise? Remember, the problem can be solved quite easily. This is all philosophy. This is all reason. This is all about intellectual argumentation and visualization. What does the scripture say? What does the scripture say? According to Jesus in John 17.3. Anyone know this verse? No. I'll get it out. Oh, I don't know the is it the one, the Father in heaven? Uh, is, is that one? This verse is the only verse that you need to know to communicate with your Christian friends that the God, according to Jesus, who He is. The only true God. The only true God. So, if you want to hear from Jesus Himself what His perception is who God is, and not only any God, but the only true God, Shall this is it? this is what you need to know. Shall I read it? Shall I find it? You can find it. John 17, 3. John 17, 3. Okay, here we go, guys. John chapter 17. Yeah. Verse 3. 
Okay. The new international version, okay? Yep. How this is eternal, now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Yeah. If you read from the verses number one, number one yeah. Jesus is referring to the Father, okay. who he called himself, who he calls the Father to be God. And he says in verse three, yes. the you, you, everyone should know, this is eternal life, they should know that you, the Father, is the only true God. Now, this phrase is this. Only true God. Look, what is Jesus trying to identify here? He is not identifying just God or the true God, but the only true God. Do you need any other? Come here, come here. Yes. We've just read the scripture. Come. Last time I saw you was five years ago. Come. Let, let us reason together. Come. Did, Jesus, did Jesus say that? No, did he say that? No. What did Jesus say? No, Aaron, 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 come. No, what did Jesus say in John 17, 3? What did he say? Aaron, Aaron, you can have a red marker. Aaron, red marker. Yeah, come on. Aaron, red marker. Why red? Huh? Why red? He stands up. <laughs> Ari, so now, out of desperation, our Christian friends are denying that Jesus said that. And what did he mean by that? He said, you should know, this is eternal life, that the only, the Father is the only what? The Father is the only what? True God or only true God? Just true God or only true God? No, don't forget this word. Yeah? We can't hear him. Stand. Right. We can't, we can't hear him. So he's saying, yes, the Father is the only true God, but there's someone else also only true God. They can't choose true what God. does this only mean? Now, if you if you read John, we have only one Steve. We can't have two. Two heads are better than one. Is that John three sixteen? Do you want to read that? John three sixteen. Yeah. Okay. John three sixteen. Yeah. Or is it sixteen three? I don't know. Sure. We'll find out. I think it's John 3.16. Okay. Um, for God so loved the world. Yeah. Okay. Shall I do it like Brad Israel did? John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Did he use the word only there? Calm down. <laughs> Ali, Sorry. Ali, Ali He's did, look at him. <laughs> did you read there, yes. only begotten son? Yes. What does the only begotten son mean? There's someone else as well? No. Or only means only? Yes. Only means the one that he's referring to. So if the Christians are going to be consistent, remember consistency is the problem with the Christians? Yeah. And the Christians are found to be very inconsistent, unfortunately. So if John 3.16 says he's the only begotten son, and John 17.3 says God is the only true God, this only can refer to an exclusion. An exclusion. So the only true God means there is only this God who is identified as Father by Jesus Christ. That means everyone else is not God or true God. That discounts Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Because according to Jesus, the only true God is who? The Father. The Father is the only true God. That is why we find throughout the entire New Testament, Jesus is saying, you should serve and worship the Father. He says, oh Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Ahad and Ahad. Yeah? So who is he saying? Whose will should be done on the king, on the heavens and the earth? The Father. So according to Jesus, who is the father? He says, I go to my father and your father. So is his father different than your father? They're the same. They're the same. So the father of Jesus, thank you for once. And the father of you and the Christians are the same. But he doesn't end there. He says, I go to my God and your God. So Jesus has a God or not? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. And this God, he calls him the father. Who is the only true God? So according to Jesus, Thank you. the only true God who should be worshipped 
is the father that he identified, which is your father, so not a literal father. Okay? So the scripture identifies who God is and it disqualifies and it, it finished, it disqualifies Jesus or the Holy Spirit or anyone to be from God. Brother Mansour, may Allah bless you. I actually learned something today that was very profound, a great analogy. Uh, and that's the reason why we have the whiteboard, because we can visually understand. Because me personally, I'm a visual person, and I understood that very clearly, spe specifically about the one God, one God, one God. But when it comes to the three persons, they say three persons, but not one. So that's a contradiction. And brothers and sisters, we're here not to, yes, we have a little giggle and joke around, but we're genuinely telling our Christian friends it doesn't make sense. If we come across as we're mocking, we're not trying to do that. We're just trying to make you guys realize that it doesn't make sense. Turn back to your us of your origin of worshipping God alone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.